Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here. Who doesn't love puffins? I mean, they're kind of a universal, adorable bird. <laughs> and uh, this acrylic painting Monday, we're going to be showing you a fun and easy, even if you're a very beginner or you haven't painted very long at all, follow us along, watch the video all the way through, and see if you can't pick up the tips that you're going to need to paint this, because this is pretty easy. And I'm going to talk about why your backgrounds are important. I'm going to talk about brush direction and brush movement. We're going to talk about that and how it gives energy to a painting. And uh, we're going to talk about layering because I always harp about that. We're going to show you some of our per beautiful painting set tutorials we have coming up in our paintingwithginger.com with where we have our uh, uh, array of, of fabulous step-by-step uh, uh, -step acrylics to uh, paintings to uh, to learn how to do. So we're going to show you that. And um, it's going to be fun. We're going to have some interactions. I hope if you have some questions for me, you'll put them in all caps. Do we have some moderators here? I bet we do. So I'm going to thank them for coming. Uh, Judy went to the eye doctor today, so she can't see. Her <laughs> eyes are dilated. And Liz is eating lobster in Maine. She, she, she is making a sacrifice eating the yeah, bottom feeder. Yeah, she's out there in Maine living it up, right? So we're all here. We'll get down to business. Let's talk about our canvas, all right? So I've got a, um, what is this, a 9 by 12 canvas. This is a size we've been using a lot lately because I can make, it's a little easier for you guys to see. And I have just outlined the puffin. Now, this, this uh, traceable will be available um, tomorrow on our uh, Academy website, which if you're an Orange member and above. And, um, but in the meantime, let's just talk about how we're going to turn this into a really cool looking painting. All right. I'm willing to dig in here with it. I hope you ooh, are too. Dig, ooh. Digging in, right? Digging into it. So right off the what bat. I want to do while we're doing the background is I want to take some white paint. And I know that the puffin is going to have a white chest with some orange in front. So even though I've kind of outlined where the orange goes, I think I can remember. So I'm going to just cover that up. Because I would have had to have white there anyway. All right. So, and you know, when it goes over the blue, it's going to have a little bit of that blue showing through, which is why I didn't put any water on the brush. I just, and I'm going to go ahead and up here on his face. Just pure paint. It's just pure paint. And you'll notice I'm just going to, I'm going to just come around here like that. Just leave where his eye is. I think we can do that. Okay. And uh, we're going to do that like this. There we go. So there's his nice little round puffy puffin head. You know, when John and I were in um, Iceland. Iceland this year, uh, they had some of the excursions were uh, to, to um, see puffins. And you have to go at the right time of year. They'll sell you an excursion whether the puffin <laughs> have left or not. But they don't care. They, just, they don't they care. Want they'll the take money. your money. They want the they'll, money. They'll sell you. They don't care. Not to be too point point up, they don't. And I, I know that, for instance, I'm going to have some bright orange footies, you know, because that's how I call them, little footies, right? So I will paint the white there, too, just so that I make sure that I have the contrast that I'm going to need, all right? So that's pretty much where this, where this little puffin has to be. Well, I guess we could do his beak, too, like that. And that shape of that is very important. He's got kind of a hooked nose. There you go. All right. So that's that has to play, stay there and do that. Okay? That has to stay there, not just, move. Just do nothing. Just just do that. Just do there. Now, normally, I would say this, if you start this, what I'm going to suggest you do instead of the way I'm doing it <laughs> already is I'm going to suggest you create your background first, and then trace your puffin on. Uh, I didn't want to do that today because I wanted to, sh uh, you know, just to for the, the period technique. of time that it takes to do that and really do it well. So we're gonna. I'm going to take a larger angle brush like okay, this. Before you go too much further, did you tell us what colors we have out tonight on our palette? Oh, I didn't. Thanks, John. I didn't. And this was ultramarine blue and white, the canvas. Yes, it was. So we've got white, titanium white, uh, yellow oxide, um, cad yellow medium, cad yellow light, cadmium orange, which is like my favorite color ever, right? <laughs> and um, I But I want you was. to know I painted for like 55 years and never saw it. So it's like if you don't have it, it's not like the end of the world. But boy, if you have it, you're going to... <laughs> so happy you have it and incidentally uh, you might want to check the art sherpa store my daughter the art sherpa store she's now got ten dollar uh, shipping on, on on your orders and sometimes her prices 
are the best ever. You just oh. have to you know check everybody, and if she's, but if she's, you know, give her a shot anyway. Take all when you're looking at art supplies, you know, give her a look too. All right, and a looky loo, and looky loo, and you can go to her website artsherpa.com and go right to her store. Okay, all right. So then I've got cad red light and cad red medium, and then we have um, Payne's gray, which is black and ultramarine blue, uh, thalo blue, uh, thalo blue, thalo uh, or ultramarine blue, purple, burnt sienna, and burnt umber. So that's what we got. Excellent color choice. That's, right. that's our color choice. So you choices. have no, uh, no um, zinc white. Well, we, I was debating about zinc white, and I still may come back to that. We're, we're going to see if we can create it without zinc white. Hmm. So um, what we need to do, now look. Um, let's, oh, isn't that, a, isn't that fun? Look at that. That's almost an abstract in itself. Man, I should just sign that and sell it. What do you think? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I digress. I digress. All right. So we're going to talk about something here. All right. You've heard the expression in the hospital when somebody's flatlined. Oh. Right? Well, if you're doing a background, you know, if you're painting a dog or a puffin, or I don't know what it is you're painting. Let me just find a canvas over here. A dog or a puffin. And your know, dog or puffin, a cat, whatever. And all you've done is just done a flat color and put your puffin on puff, or your dog or anything. That's the same. It's just that's boring. And, you know, yeah, boy, and you'll see that all the time. You'll see new artists, and one of the things they'll do is they'll take a bright, the paint the canvas green because the dog was standing in front of grass, and they'll paint the dog. Really? If you don't know what color backgrounds to use on your pets, Google how other people have painted them. See the kind of backgrounds that people Look prefer. Look it up, people. Look it up. So don't that's, be guessing. So that's flatlined. And then this is rain. Pretty much you guys all get that. And um, so that's kind of rain. That's kind of stormy. Uh, this is very energetic. Something but, like this is really energetic. Well, Just that's the like a lines. storm. Just these lines mean a lot. So yeah. your brush direction means a lot. And also, the other thing to keep in mind is that when you're, uh, when you've got a canvas, the eye go, comes in this way. And um, ideally speaking, they talk about picture patterns. But if you have a line that's just going, you you have to have. Um, a way for your, uh, the, if you just have something like this, your eye will just keep going out there, okay? So if you're going to have a line like that, you might have an, another line like up, something like this. We're going to do a triangular picture pattern tonight, uh, which is my kind of go-to picture pattern because I'm lazy and I like to think. You can also <laughs> do S's and stuff, but I am so lazy, I just like triangle picture patterns. There's like 50 different kinds, but that's the one you'll find I do the most because I don't have to think about it, right? Sometimes it's nice not to have to think about things. So that being said, um, we're going to take a, a palette knife, and I'm going to get some white paint like this. And I want to have some phthalo blue, like kryptonite. We just want a little, oh, that's ultramarine. That's even better. Here, here's phthalo. Wow, see? And we're going to do sort of a combination of these. And I don't want to mix this very well. Does that make sense? So I'm going to just sort of be dipping my brush in all those colors and, um, and painting my background. Yes and yes. Absolutely. So I'm going to just do that like this and come on up here like this. And I want the brush strokes in this case to be kind of going vertically. And that I'll would maybe, be up and down. Yeah, basically up and down, kind of like what I, what I said before, right? <laughs> and... Um, a little bit more thalo blue. Just want some up and down stuff. And even if you come around your uh, um, bird, you're using a pretty large angle brush, about three quarters inch. A little bit of white on the brush. See, I want it kind of streaky. Okay. Oh, it's looking good. I might just go over some of this with some white like that. Just kind of, again, you're talking about movement here. Streaks. Yeah, we had a donation come in from Ionopolis from Australia. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you, you so much. much. 
that came in through the super chat. Super chat. Thank you. Does she have a question to go with her super chat? Support for your time and energy you share. Nope, just a comment. Thank you. A beloved comment. So, you know, I bet if you live in Australia, you don't have a lot of opportunity to see puffins. And in the United States, we don't either <laughs> unless you go to a zoo. They get to see penguins instead. And apparently, if you want to see them in Iceland, you got to go there just at the right time of year and pay somebody big bucks to take you out to wherever they are. Oh. You know, I'm just saying. And, Life you know, is tough. The thing about it, because, we, you know, we did that big, wonderful trip this summer, like a favorite one ever. <laughs> and they've got like two months to take your money in Iceland. So, you know, everything's <laughs> like 600 times more than it would normally be. So not that I begrudge anybody their money, right? No, you But can't John do that. and I cruise for free most of the time. So we don't really have extra cash to spend on stuff like that. Um, it's just really, if we can't figure out a way to finagle it. Uh, <laughs> we have to stay home we, instead. <laughs> we don't go. And I just, you know, watch movies and you know, look up, look up, uh, Google, uh, Google, look everybody. Google images and look up what pen, pen, uh, puffin's supposed to look like because, gosh, I never saw one. Yes. So now, as I come farther down, I want this to be darker, right? So I'm going to have more ultramarine blue, a little bit of um, uh, uh, Payne's gray, and some phthalo blue, kind of a mixture of both. That's the color I want, right? Like that. Okay. So as I come in closer into this guy here like that, I've got something a little bit darker in my background. And um, you can see it. So now that I know what the mixture is, I'm going to just uh, grab some paint like that. Put some... Uh, there you go. I know I want this pretty dark down here, and I might even take a little bit of cad red, put in there, and uh, let's take purple instead. That would be better, and a little bit more thalo blue. And this is where the zinc white comes in. John was right about that. I knew it. Z zinc I white. I looked at that guy, and I go, "There's zinc in there." And no. What zinc white does is it lightens your color without turning it chalky. Yep. So you can take, you know, I mean, if you're talking about what are the notes that I got here like that, see what I mean? I can say that this is some zinc white here. I've still got something darker. See how it's still dark down here in this corner. But it didn't turn the it didn't turn the the painting chalky. See, and it gives Just me this it. nice deep dark blue, uh, color without uh, changing anything too much. See, see what I mean? And um, let's take a little more thalo blue with that. There you go. So if um, let's see, where's my paper towels here? I think I've, we showed you this trick before, but a lot of times you don't see me because the la rag is in my lap. But I've been starting to do this so you could see me wipe off the brush. See what I'm doing? It's rather than rinse it. Ginger just uses very little water. Like next to none. Next to none. I'm just all about using the paint, right? That's what the so paint's there for. So there's our, our bird here, and um, that's just not any bird. That's a puffin bird. Well, it is a puffin bird, and it's right around his tail where he's black. We want it lighter because wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So we know we want a little bit lighter here. But basic, basically, all these brush strokes coming down vertically. Um, then we'll team, come up here with the with the zinc white. Let's get another little spot of that. Now, wiping the brush off, see that? I'm going to take some zinc white and come up here like this, just on the flat, one side of the brush, flat, and just, okay, you with me? Just pulling it down a little bit, see, and even lightening this up a little more. Just like that. All right. But my friend Kim Carr also went to um, Iceland. And she got to see the puffins. And they, they she's out. got a military retirement. She got to see them. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's what it is. Yeah, she, she, yeah. <laughs> she got to see them. The military people get to see the puffins. She got to, yeah, she got, she got to, though she does an awful lot of cruising for free too, I have to say. Though those days may be numbered, friends. But the cruise industry, what's happened with them 
is they're so um, pleased with their success of people wanting to cruise that they no longer feel they have to offer the deals that they used to. But there's still some deals out there, and we're still working on the book, right? I'm still absolutely still working on the book. No worries. And we'll eventually get there. And we'll eventually get there. So you see how I've got this sort of like that, right? And that, all right, now I've got a log here that has to happen. So this can dry. Yes, this can dry. And But we need a different um, brush because that had white all over it, and I don't feel like cleaning it. So let's... No, of course not. We have a staff that does that. Oh, wait, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> that's true. Listen, but in all fairness, when John first uh, came with came to Texas and watched me wash brushes, even though I've been doing them for 55, 60 years, whatever that was. It wasn't right. He didn't like how I did it. He <laughs> says, I want to wash the brushes. I'm going, really? Sure. <laughs> Knock yourself out. He says, I don't like how you do the dishes either. <laughs> oh, really? I need to do them. Sure. I'll just empty the dishwasher. No, no, don't no, do no, that. No, no, yeah, no. I don't like, like how you put them away either. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, I'll just Wait here until it's all done. <laughs> Your all life right. seems to have gotten really rough since I showed up. So, <laughs> just sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, you got to appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to take some burnt umber and a little bit of paint gray. Pretty much, and we're going to come up here like this, and we're going to come by our puffin, and we're going to make our um, post that he's sitting on. Bless his little heart. Okay, he's got, apparently he heard tourists were coming and he's willing to sit here for us. Unlike, um, he doesn't know that everybody's getting charged to see him. He, he was friendly. He would have <laughs> been happy to see us He would like to have a piece of that action. But uh, no, apparently not. Nobody, nobody wanted to talk about the fact that, yeah, well, anyway, we won't go there. But anyway, so there's his post like that. And again, the brush strokes are up and down, not back and forth. See what I mean? Everything up and down, yes and yes. Okay, so now, what do we know for sure? Well, we know for sure that the um, the white, we need another coat of white on here. So th that's cool, we can do that, yes? So we're gonna take our bird, and this is the second coat of white. My brush is slightly damp because it's been in water, but that's all right. So his chest has got, now this is what I see. Somebody sent me something in for a pack recently. Wait, wait no, what, what is a pack? Uh, that's personal art coaching, where they send me their artwork and I and I help make it better and make little videos. Now we just pretty much 99% of all packs are, you know, video based, where you do a video of how to how to why well, either love your painting um, and explain why or things you can do to improve it, right? Um, and anyway, um, I noticed that uh, um, I'm seeing that some people are not doing more than one layer of paint and you get that's just lazy people because you got you can sit if you have time to paint it you have time to do another layer wouldn't you think oh i would think so yeah so not 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 saying names or anything but just saying that that would be a thought i might have all right so okay so all right i've done that and um there's this was this little tail right there so uh this is still kind of wet but it may work well no we, would we have time to dry this john a little bit would we yeah <laughs> can, can we take a moment and dry this sure thank you we just mute everybody all right so we're going to dry this and that's because i've kind of run out of things i can do while everything's still wet oh, i'm going right? to leave me on and we'll see what happens all right we'll torment them that way and john will ask and john can explain some questions if you have some and i'll i can and, explain and questions. if you have some questions you want to ask john can be reading them or, and then tell uh, them in a little bit there you go boy no warning there just all of a sudden she goes hey we'd like to thank everybody for showing up today and joining us on september 11th it's been a few years since we had that terrible event changed the world forever uh, hopefully a bright puffin will brighten the day for many. Moderators, thanks for showing up. We really appreciate you guys. I'm kind of breezing through here to see if there's any questions I've missed. Puffins are... Oh, they are small. They look so big in the painting, though, don't they? They always make them bigger than they are. 
Uh, first puffin during QQ. I think we did one in QQ. I think we had one way before that, though. I don't even know if that one's still around. Some of those older lessons are disappearing. All right, the queen is done. Um, do you guys know about your cold button on your hair dryer? You, sh you should have a hair dryer with a cold button. When you're through, if you will hit it for a few seconds with cold, if it's still tacky, it's not dry. Chances are when it's hot, when the paint, it, it'll seal tacky. It may, may be dry if you just hit it with a little bit of cold. Uh, okay, so using a smaller brush now, one without white on it, we will um, now proceed to um, to take the... Um, the the paint gray which is black and ultramarine blue right and we're going to um take our uh puffin and uh give him his first coat of of paint wow how fun is that right one of many layers yeah but this is his first one and this is a pretty strong color um uh, for sure, this is a very strong color if you're thinking about doing this. Um, you know, this is pretty good. And then I want to come up on the top of here like this. I'm not going to go very far with that, but it's really kind of dark around his head like that, okay? So that, that's good to know, right? And then this comes right around the front of his chest like that, like a curve like that and uh, uh, so let's see we can say that that happened there yeah yes and yes all right and let's see we've got some tail feathers that are coming down here like this okay so okay so now why that meanwhile back at the ranch why that's doing its thing right um, uh, let's see uh, we want to come very close to here. Like that. Do you guys know about doing that? If you're trying to draw, if you put your finger here and brace, you can do this. Do you see that? I don't know if John can show you at a different Wait, angle. Wait, yeah, let me change that angle. Because if you, because if you put your finger, can you see my finger? Yeah. And it's bracing my hand. And a long fingernail is very ha happy there. But just say, sorry if you don't have one, but <laughs> that's a good brace. If somebody could bend, invent a little finger brace that just went on there for you. Be I nice, think they it? have those. I don't think so. Not, no, not really. Do. Just like a little thing that went yeah. around your finger and then yeah. went out a little bit. A I'm little tripod saying. for it. Somebody, if you, if you invent one, send me one, okay? Okay. That's hey, we'd we'll like to thank Vicki for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Miss Vicki. Thank you very much, Vicki. We appreciate that very much. All right, so let's play with our um, our log for a minute. We've got some... Um, that's a pole. That is not a log. A, well, it's a loggy pole. <laughs> All right, so I've got some orange here and some burnt sienna. Okay, and I've got a little bit of the... Uh, let's see, let's bring this... Um, let's bring this... Uh, that's the zinc white, right? And just kind of... I want some uh, just some striations going through here like this. Now you notice that we're not going to put any white on here like he's pooped on it or anything. I want you to know that we, they do that sometimes, and you can get too realistic. Sometimes you just have to let stuff not be that. <laughs> okay. You have to know when to, uh, you know. A little burnt sienna and edit. titanium white. Okay, that's a, so we've changed. We've changed. Uh, Okay, let's put a little bit of um, Payne's gray with that. So kind of, there we go. Now we've got more of a gray, gray brown here like that. Okay, so that's there. So we've got we've got a pretty good looking little pole, and we'll just come up back here on the top of this where his little feeties are. Say that's the top, and there might be a little tiny light edge right, light edge right here. So you want to flatten your brush out. Do you guys know that? Just when you have an angle brush, just flatten it out. There you go. 
something a little lighter than that. And I'm just using zinc white. Okay. All right. So he's just not sitting in a rainstorm by a pole all by himself. That's kind of sad, isn't it? That's a thought. That's a horrible thought, isn't it? I mean, yes, it is. Yes, <laughs> just is. He got stuck so, on the pole. So and we're going to say off. that it's snowing. We're going to make his life even more tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Besides not being able to meet me, because the, everybody wanted lots of money to meet him, not even a reasonable amount. Like, we're talking six to $800 here. We're not making that up as much as we would have liked to have seen them. Um, so I've got the zinc white here, and I want to come down here a little bit with the, let's see, wipe the, let's see, get the brown out of that. There you go, like that. Let's spread that zinc white out. Just come in here like this. Come down here like this because it's sort of a transparent color. I want to wipe this brown off. I don't like that. Okay. And uh, doop, doop, doop. The duping is nice, isn't it? A little bit of blue. This isn't your next coat of this. Now, as I get over into here, I'm going to start changing a little bit. I'm going to take some of the blue and just make some circles with my uh, I'm going to change the brush strokes just a little bit by doing this. Just kind of making circles and like that. See, so we change we, something changed just by doing that a little bit. Now, um, recently. I'm just, you know, we, I did this um, really cool painting for YouTube that's coming up uh, for closer to Christmas, and I was trying to figure out how to do snow really well, right? Ooh. And I discovered that the, my best snow brush is one of these. This is like a, a, a this is like a masterpiece um, uh, small uh, pro one. It's my master stroke. I've also got some Terry Harrison ones that I like. That's, so a, what that's a Terry Harrison one. That's a Terry Harrison one, right? Yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit of, I know I want some snow right here. And these are the fur brushes. So I'm just using this fur brush and I'm going to suggest there might be some snow. And I think there might be some snow right up in here like that. Okay. And uh, maybe over here. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the titanium white, and I'm going to say we've got we've got a snowbank coming here like this here, and kind of just give it a, like a little bit of a V. Okay, there you go, like that. And let's say I've got something coming across like this. Apparently on his little world there's there's some snow. Now I want a little bit of this blue color, okay, and I want some shadows on it like that. The bottom one, just pretty much if you're painting snow, you can even have a little purple with it, purpley blue color. There's always a bit of shadow on in snow, like this. So we're going to say that this. This is uh, this is our snow shadow, right? Like that. Kind of the bottom bottom edge of that. Saying that's that's it already feels snowy, doesn't it? It's it not, does. Doesn't it? We haven't we, we didn't do anything hardly. And then it if we take cold. a little the zinc white and just really suggest some snow back up in here. Probably should be more of a thalo blue color. Hey, let's give Sandra a, a big thank you for her donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you very much, Sandra. That is wildly appreciated. Wildly. It is. All right, so you see kind of we, we gave him that look and then, so it's, yeah, let's do a little more of this purple. That's pretty. Uh, purple and a little bit of blue. That would be the ultramarine blue. If you didn't have purple, you could do ultramarine blue and magenta. 
there I want even that kind of darker shadow down in there maybe something coming up here Woo, right so this kind of cool and uh, hey have we heard from everybody about who won last uh, oh yeah I meant speaking of that the uh, those that got their ticket pulled out of the fishbowl for the donations every $25 in a, in a quarter get you a ticket in our fishbowl and at the end of the quarter we pull a drawing and I'm happy to say that all five paintings have gone out today. Oh, you mailed Who got them, John? I mean, did, did, uh, which one did Judy get? Because she got the last pick. Uh, Judy got the um, the other the European um, flower shop. Oh, nice. And Andrew went with the cafe. cafe. Yeah. And who was who got the boat? Oh, uh, um, Clarice went with the boat. Oh, okay. The golden, the golden hour boat. And what's we? Oh, the lock went to Jules. Oh, okay. I think it was Carrie got. What did she end up with? Oh, she ended up with the um, the houses in the wall over the water. Ooh, yeah. that was one of my favorites. Yeah, that was a lot of people's favorite. So, I'm, uh, did you see where I'm adding a little bit of phthalo blue and white and yellow to make sort of a turquoise blue in here? See how I'm adding more colors to our picture? This is not just some ordinary uh, blue canvas. See what we did? Already, we're just, I'm feeling cold just looking at it. Now, we did get to see some penguins, even though that that there are no penguins in Norway. They, they have them in the zoo. And <laughs> I think that's cheating. <laughs> And, and they all had little mail houses, too. It was real yeah, cute. So we saw them cute. in the zoo. We went to the zoo and got off a, you know, and you know what you can count on when you go see it, go to a zoo, John? Uh, seeing animals. Yeah, seeing kids. Oh, that's that, true. That they just, were there, too. They're, uh, those kind of animals. <laughs> yeah, you can you see kids, right? In tons and of them. And that, to me, is just very fun. You know, you see kids. Kids are a riot. Just, you know, and, and just... They're the same the world over. I don't care what languages they speak. Oh, it is. They're, they are all they're identical. Just, they're so fun. So we got to see kids. So that was uh, all right. Now you see this magic brush I've got going here. I'm going to get a little purple, and I'm going to turn my painting sideways and just put this up here like this. And we're going to say that there's a ooh too much paint. Uh, let's see. Let's put a little white with this and a little bit of blue with that. A little bit of purple. Now, we're going to say that he has a shadow on his face that takes up this part of his face. And there's some up here by his upper part of his eye. And um, if it's darkest close to here. It's like dark right down in here. Maybe a little ultramarine blue in that, right? It's dark right up in here close to that right close to here like this it's dark and let's see let's take a little bit of the purple and then as it goes up it gets lighter and then it goes up here um it's um it's coming up here and it's got got a little bit of purple too so you see sometimes it's easier for me to do that than than paint that in now i'm going to take a small brush like this and I'm going to go with my cad red, cad red light. I'm going to come here on his beak. Put the first layer. And this first layer of this beak like this. And I say I'm going to come around here like this. They they're very decorative. These little guys. And I think they're really cute. So we're going to just give him a little bit of orange eye, and then we'll put some black in it like in that right but they're extremely decorative and let's take a little yellow oxide now come over here on the top of his head like that and say that there's that okay um, I'm going to say that right next to here, this is, there's like a triangle right here like this on his beak. 
Then we want something a little darker down here at the bottom where the shadow is. Okay. Okay. And a little dot for where his eye is. That's looking good. And uh it's amazing what a little color does. He looks like he's warming yeah, up so now. Yeah, so now let's curve out his neck a little bit now. Let's give him a little bit more curve on the back of his head like that. And this is your next layer of, of uh, Payne's Gray. And then we're going to take some Thalo Blue and Zinc White and say he's got a little bit of a blue here like that. See? So it's this little Zinc White and Thalo Blue kind of subtle stuff but we're doing it let's try titanium and see what that does if that's um i want this a little lighter than that but you always i always start with the thing i always start with the the with the with the zinc first because you just don't know if you want anything that uh you know much we give them a little bit like that yes and yes so um and I think I want a little bit of this light blue coming up here in this face, right like that, like that. So this is the kind of thing is that if you're shaded, you know, take a little time. This is no different than shading an apple or anything else. It's the same idea. And, um, this comes all the way over the top like this. Okay. Oh, it's, and, um, it's that's, getting there. That's kind of fun, right? Now, he's got, and I'm going to change brushes because I want, I want more of a brush like this for his chest. So I'll just leave that alone. We've got the yellow oxide. It could be yellow ochre for you, too. And we're going to come up here like this. And... Um, using these kind of brush strokes, right? And then a little bit of cad, cadmium orange right here on his tummy. Look at that. Goes right, you know, back between his legs like that. And there's a little bit of this color right down here. This is on a Protone board, not a stretch canvas. Yep, Protone from Jerry's 9x12. Yep. Okay. So, hey, we'd like to thank Wanda for her donation that came in. She's got another ticket in the fishbowl. Thank you very much, Wanda. It's most appreciated. And, of course, you saw we've got these fabulous paintings for the drawing so, um, They're over for here. This, this time. Uh, let's see. It's a little bit of purple. I'm going to say I want a little bit of purple like this. This is why I like these angle brushes. So you can do stuff like this. You can just play a little bit. So an angle brush like that, you can get these small lines. That's what's so amazing about this. For those of you who have trouble, you know, it's, it's very hard. Cinnamon and I were talking about this today that it's very discouraging to try and get a little small pointy brush to do anything like this easily. But these angle brushes, which is why I like them, um, they do that, right? And um, you can get that to happen with those, and they're just great. So I'm saying I want this one like that, and then I can come back here and say I want this, this. this all the way up here like that. Okay, I'm going to say this is dark right here. Okay. So, wow, huh? I mean, you wouldn't think that it would... And the same thing here, like for instance, like right here, I can take this brush and get a thin line like that, when they're new. When they're not new, you can't do that, right? But when they're new, you can do that, or you can take a line like this, which just comes and it curves up, not under, please. 
<laughs> think about always ask yourself this all you know it comes right down to the bottom of here like this doesn't go that far but that's all right that's where it comes you can, yeah you can fix that I'll fix that but then doesn't, doesn't go that far but that's where it comes and it um we're gonna erase that rinse wipe swipe you guys know how to raise right absolutely um I think I need some more white paint on there anyway. Uh. See, I mean, isn't that interesting? Come on, isn't that interesting that you can get that kind of um, and the same thing. See, see how this big blob is? You don't want that. So I'm going to come here like this and curve that out. Take some CAD red, curve it out. All right, like that. And um, let's just paint that in like this. Yes, yes, and yes. And let's take that same dark red color, come down here on his legs, and uh, I mean we're getting there, right? Now there's a shadow. Now, this is where you, some people miss it. Right next to his, on this leg, there's a little bit of shadow where it starts up top, and where the fur starts, there's a little bit of shadow right there. And if you're not getting that you want to all right you don't want to miss these little you, details you don't want to miss those kind of things you can bring it in there like that and then um, a little bit of yellow and here we're gonna say uh, that this is coming this way we'll take a little bit of the purple and we'll bring a little of that color into this orange Let's say this is kind of coming down here to his leg like this Okay, so th those little de details are important, and he's a, like a little bit darker red on the bottom of his tummy right here. See that? It's just slightly darker red there than he is coming up here. Yeah. So if I'm going to rinse the brush now, and we can spend a lot of time painting him because he's fun to paint. Yeah, isn't he kind of fun? Yes. He is fun. And let's take that and some white up here, and I'm going to say right up here on his chest, I want it a little bit lighter, like that, right, like that. Yes. And I want it really, I want some beautiful bright orange here, like that. A little bit in here, like that. Just put it there. Now, I have to have a small brush for his feeties because even those little angle brushes would kind of struggle with that, yeah. So we'll just take some of the bright orange color like that and come on here and just just, just a little brush like this. Well, it's a little watercolor brush actually. They don't have a long life when you use them with acrylics, but if you have John <laughs> no, washing them, they, washing them, they last pretty good. Yeah, that one's pretty old. I mean, it's the body's given out on it, but the brush is still in good shape. Yeah. Let's see, a little bit darker. This is just a little bit darker where the leg leaves the body. Okay, like that. And then there's some dark kind of in between the two feeties like that. They come at an angle like this. And they've got some little claws, but I didn't know if I wanted to do all that, but I guess we could, but, uh, ooh. So he's this is this little leg is coming down here like that, and then there's the top of this foot like that, and uh, 
Hey, we'd like to thank Jules for her donation. Came in through PayPal. She too has a ticket or two in the fishbowl. Thank you very much, Jules. Now this is dry, and I'm going to come back up here with the cat on. Tell you what, you cannot beat this cadmium orange. I'll tell you what, it's just <laughs> like, th like this. Like, talk about great colors, yeah? This is now luminous rose was or was one of your favorites. Is that well, no still, longer still favorite? Well, still is, but that, you know, there's really no luminous rose on on a puffin. Well, not yet. No, <laughs> but there there can be a little bit of this orange and like white. For instance, you can come up here like this and suggest some feathers, and even just even those white ones you just did, you can give them a little color like that, which is sort of nice. And um, I might take a little bit of white and thalo blue and pull a little bit of, just a little something on the feathers right there, because I can. And let's take some dark and um, bring that on up here into that blue. And we want to make sure that we've said that this is um, there's a little bit of a wing right here what we're saying happened and uh, now I'm going to take a Posca pen because that that is easier to use when you're talking about you know, detail. Here's a fine point Posca pen. And I can do that because I can bring his eye all the way up, almost touching his head, head like that. See? And uh, sometimes you just need stuff like that. And I guess I could, I could give some little hooks on his feet if I, you know, if we wanted to suggest there were something on his feet. I don't know how realistic you want to make him, but, um, you know, we're kind of going for painting here. And I want to make sure I have, um, there, make sure that he, we've got, we've got some nice, he's got, we kind of put him in pretty cute, didn't we? Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't that hard, right? Now, we haven't finished the painting yet, but we have done some stuff. And that's that's the thing. I mean, and, and those of you who looked at this and thought, oh, Ginger's doing another one of these hard ones. <laughs> oh, no. I that's can't all Ginger ever does. You know, Come on, people. Does. They really aren't. Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of light yellow on the feet here, too, because we can do that. Maybe a little bit of brush like this going down here on the leg. There. Well, I mean, I think he's kind of cute. I haven't done the white on his, finished the white on his face, but all in all, I guess there's a, such a thing as all in all, isn't there? All in all. Absolutely. All in all, all, in all there's a... All in all. Yes. All in all. All right. So, now, let's... Why this is kind of drawing just a little bit. Let me show you some stuff we, we got going, you guys, because when, when we finish putting this bird in, it's going to be so cute. And you've already discovered it is super easy. Don't, don't you think so, John? So uh, those of you who are new to our channel, besides teaching on YouTube, and we've been doing it for years, and we and we try to do, uh, be, you know, beginner, inter, you know, very beginner to intermediate, you know, intermediate lessons. And then we have an art school, which we... A lot of times, you know, it doesn't have questions and it's just me talking, explaining to you how to paint something. And they're beautiful videos, some anywhere from an hour to seven, eight hours long. And we have, you know, um, fabulous uh, paintings for you to learn how to do and really expand your artwork. And some of the ones coming up to Now paint, that's the, those are the, the next giveaways. Yeah, but not okay. this. So the, 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 yep. these, these are not, right? No. So some of the paintings that are coming up to, 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 to this will be uh, for our uh, our red and purple members and this red is blue purple everybody gets red that blue one. and purple this is the um, this will be our one of our winter scenes for for the holidays 
And um, you know, you'll notice that this is what we're talking about. We've been fe featuring golden hour paintings. Um, this is certainly one. Don't you guys think so? That's I one. And that's so. Strictly Academy. You guys are going to love it. And if you want to do it bigger, it would be like 30 by 40. It would be spectacular. All right. That's coming up in the Academy. Um, this coming up, um, this, uh, I think it's this coming week, this was a painting I really felt compelled to do. Um, when we travel a lot, we see so many people that are in our age group that are you know, no longer mobile. They're either walkers or they've got wheelchairs and, um, and they're just kind Scooters. of, you know, I felt like they're, that the art about them was forgotten. And so I don't know if anybody will even want to watch it, but we thought this was a good one. And we've, in our purple membership this year, since, since we started this year, we've been showing people how to paint people. Uh, portraits, faces, people in situations, people walking in, in, in the snow, whatever. This was one of, this is a purple membership on showing you how to do people. And that can, adding people to your paintings can really uh, improve it. Most people are kind of afraid to do it. And so that's the, you know, and you can be a purple member for, gosh, just a month. You can try it for a month and go back and forth. You know, you can do that. Um, you don't have to do it forever, but it's, um, it's, I think, uh, for those of you who are really wanting to learn that extra skill, and also it includes the Wave and Water Master Class, which is about, you know, painting oceans and waves and all that stuff. So that is included with the pur Purple membership. Pur purple gives access to everything. Yes. Now, some of the paintings that we've got coming up, um, so, you know, for we're going to be doing an uh, academy, we're going to be doing a Halloween picture for our academy. This is a zombie cake. I love the zombie cake. And we just thought that, you know, we'll have one, a really cool Halloween picture for YouTube too. But this is for the academy, the zombie cake. I don't know, just honestly, now I'm not throwing my kid under the bus. Well, when she was 18, <laughs> she made me a cake. It looked very much like this. Pretty much know, that's it right there. I almost could have done that <laughs> cake from memory. It, <laughs> it wasn't her best baking experience, but it made me laugh. And I don't know. I don't know, that inspired this picture, all right? And now, for those of you who have been so wonderful to be um, uh, uh, contributing your $25 toward the scholarship fund, or more, for every $25, there's a um, ticket in the fishbowl. Ticket in the fishbowl, and it's quarterly. And this quarter, so the quarter will end um, November 30th. November 30th, all right? So this, this was a painting I did. Um, little English cottage when we were traveling uh, in, uh, in Australia last year. And I was thinking about making this in tutorial. This was the, the small, small one for that. Um, I was very, uh, there was a day, I don't know, I was really in the mood to paint angels. And, and I think, I, I thought this was the perfect time of year to have this as something that someone could win because who doesn't want an angel for Christmas? Yeah? Hmm? Really? Well, you could use an angel any time of the year. Any really. time yes. of the year. So then, um, I'll just put those out of the way. And then we have, um, uh, this was, um, for those of you who don't know anything about Texas, in the spring they have something called blue bonnets, and they're famous for them. And uh, Cinnamon and I one year just drove all over, all over uh, between here and Dallas looking for pictures of blue bonnets. And I, in our academy we've got a cute one of my granddaughter when she was just a, you know, a toddler in the blue bonnets, taking pictures of them with her little camera we gave her. So this is this was inspired by Texas blue bonnets, and again, it's a golden hour painting. Do you see that? Hmm, golden hour, something yeah. to think about. Yes. So golden hour, we have that. And, and you know that most of our golden hours are in the evening because some of us don't get up in the morning for golden hours. Yeah, I know. That's John doesn't get out of bed till you know, even on vacation, just get out of bed till 11. So it's hard to get those golden hour <laughs> photographs, right? Now, when we were in Norway, oh, we Norway. saw the fjords. And I was very inspired to paint things that we saw. And I really love these paintings. There's two, so this one and these were kind of a series I was doing. Um, these aren't going to be tutorials, but they are something somebody could certainly own that. And you could probably just, if, you know, they could go like that too. You know, just, um, just, just, you know, they're single. You know, you just can either can get one or the other. But it's, yeah. so if you like that kind of painting, the, that, those are our ones. And, 
you know what? Every once in a while, I may be inspired to um, do something else you don't know. Um, That's true. And so, um, heck, you guys. Uh, you know, when the actual drawing comes, I may put in some others. Give you more choices. What do you think? You never know with her. All right, so I think this is dry. Excellent. Well, while it's finishing up, let's uh, thank Sharon for her donation that came in. I know we're getting close to uh, almost finishing this up. i got more thank yous to do. Thank you, Sharon. And very much. Did we have any questions, John? Uh, I'm afraid I've answered all of them. John answered all the questions. He's just been Johnny on the spot. Ha! Huh? No pun Where intended. are the purple memberships? Um, that's a good question. Where are the purple memberships? Oh. Pain PaintingWithGinger.com. Paintingwithginger.com will take you there, and you go to the sign-up page, and all the memberships are listed on the on the membership page. Thank you, Ginger and John, and the rest of this beautiful, supportive community for helping me through my mom's passing. You've made me laugh and want to paint again. Oh. And the one that's asking for the purple membership, uh, Tech Liz gave you a link. Let me tell you something about personal art coaching. I was in tears today. Not because I was unhappy with the painting that was sent in, but because I was so happy about it. Here was a person, been with us for a few years, never thought they could paint a portrait. That We did a shout out on Facebook. I don't know if, um, if she was a Facebook member, but anyway, we'll probably give her a shout out in the Gazette next week. Honestly, you guys, it was perfect. And, you know, I don't know. It's like sometimes this is like collaring down a rain barrel. If you don't show your, your paintings, either through personal or coaching, or post them in our, uh, our Facebook club, uh, it, that's free to become a member. I love to see what you're painting. I have no idea if I'm teaching you anything, except that you guys send us paintings and we get to see it. And I, as, as John and I are thrilled to see that you're participating in our tutorials and that you're having fun and you're sharing what you're doing. So thank you very much. Yes, and yes. It brought me to tears today. It was such so cool. Um, yeah, it was a good one. She did a good job. So I want to have, we're going to put in the reeds. So we can do, a, you know, an angle brush like this. And you notice the tape is on it because that's got a sharp, um, a sharp edge. It hasn't been worn out, okay? So we're going to do white and a little bit of yellow oxide, tiny bit of uh, Payne's gray in it to dull it down. So it's sort but of not a, too much. Not just too much. Enough. Just wipe the brush, and I'm going to come up here like this, and just do that. I think I need a little more white with it. Yeah, there you go. All right. So. Uh, question, what is the golden hour? The golden hour is the time. I didn't know either. Honestly, God, I had never heard of it. So John had heard of it because photographer. Um, he was a photographer. <laughs> My daughter had heard of it because I sent her to college to <laughs> photography class. And the reason I did that was because... You wanted she, pictures. Well, I wanted pictures. Besides that, she came back from a cruise with friends. And they'd gone, I'd gotten her this little, one of those little disposable underwater cameras. And all she had was pictures of feet. <laughs> That's true. That's all she had. <laughs> and I thought a photography class uh. would have helped her. Had so many, of, and, and they did, man. And then after that, you know, this was back in the, you know, 2000. I was pay, paying her to, to go to Europe with me and take pictures for my artwork because she was so good. She had the eye, but she didn't know how to use it. And she, and she did two years in college taking photography. But I myself had never actually heard of... Um, the golden hour. The golden hour. Okay. And um, now see this big gob of paint here? You've got to flatten out your paints. You guys do you remember to do that, right? you got to do that. Okay. So the golden hour? So the golden hour is uh, either sunset or sunrise. Paintings that are done with either the sunset or the sunrise. It was after the sun has gone down. You have an hour. And it's an hour before the sun actually breaks the horizon. It's where it's everything's golden. Because the sun is still oozing up its brightness. 
a little orange with some of these. And we did have a little article on our website. Yeah, we had. Yeah, there's a last week's blog that talked about it. And if you go to our website under blogs, you can read last week's. They're free. Just feel free. Okay. To, and then if you'd like to be part of our newsletter, just... Um, um, yeah, if you have something to say, let us know. Yeah. We had a guest, a guest blogger last week. It was Liz. The one that's eating... The bottom feeders. Yeah, the ones eating the lobster. John just can't believe anybody would eat lobster. He's so funny. What does he know? We'll just have some the of the cockroaches of the sea. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Thank you, John, for that. <laughs> that stirring <laughs> endorsement. Uh, Though we did, it, this is sort of funny. When we when we were in Canada a couple of years ago, we um uh, we rented a um we did taxi. Rent. Well, we <laughs> rent, but we. we Taxi. A taxi driver, I guess. <laughs> well, we rented. We got a, a guy for a day. We got a guy for a day. We rented a guy for a and day. And he said he had grown up in where were we? Sydney. Sydney. Australia. Love Sydney. Beautiful. No, not Australia. This is Canada. Yeah, Sydney, the other Sydney, end of the world. Can, yeah, Sydney, Canada, right? And we got some coming up. And this he was way, driving so. us all over the place. Yeah, so he and stuff. he told us he grew up and, and showed us where he grew up on the farm and everything. And he said he grew up there very poor. Yep. And um, uh, the dolls they had to eat was lobster. Because back then, just poor people, they fed, fed it to their pigs. I told you, <laughs> the cockroaches of the sea. So John felt so vindicated. <laughs> just <laughs> he told me, I goes, told you. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, uh, Lady Liz is up there eating lobsters up in... So, so are we Maine. having fun with her at her expense? I feel oh, bad. Oh, absolutely. Throwing her under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Well, you guys. No, I don't eat crawfish either. Why do you eat these weird things? Only thing that comes out of the sea that's worthwhile is salmon. That's it. Period. Well, John, you're very judgmental. Did anybody tell you that? <laughs> I'm not judgmental. <laughs> this is the facts, lady. <laughs> no, I told you, you're, we, we think he's a bit judgmental. I personally, one of the things I like about uh, when I'm cruising is the fact that the, they give you lobster tail. Well, they used to. They don't anymore. See how this line goes in? Do you see that? And it needs to go out. Wait, what line? This line right here. Oh, the ba his back. Yeah, see? He was swayed back. Yeah, so, I mean, just the smallest little thing. A lot of times, you know, you'll um, he comes in here, and then he comes out a little bit more with his back like that. And he goes in, right? A lot of times, you guys, when you, you know, you ask me for help on something, sometimes you just ask yourself is, do I have a line that's in or out? Yes? Do I have an in or outy line? Let's put a little bit of purple up here. On his cheek, yes, and um, something a little bit darker right here. Okay, coming up like that. And uh, oh yeah, we got to do some snuff. Where's our 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 uh, 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 frame for this, John? Where We're is about it? Done. Yeah, it's over against the wall. I, I, I oh, but you should get it. <laughs> I still thanking people. Thank you, Terry, for your donation. It came in through PayPal. You got a ticket in the fishbowl. I got one more to do, then I'll go get your frame. So entertain okay. the fans. All right. I'm, I think I'm entertaining. Do you guys think I'm entertaining? No. What? No, no entertain. This is an educational show. This is what we do. We educate. Oh, I like we those thingies. We, we're just is putting a little nose? bit of, you know, a little bit of, you know, maybe a little light on the, on these things like that. I mean, look at his eye. He looks sad because of the snow. He doesn't have a happy face anymore. Oh, well, hmm. you're right. Well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. But I mean, not. He should have had a happy face. Let's just try this blue one. There you go. Let's try a few of these like that. There. All right. That's now he is. Um, I need something kind of, kind of coming up this way too, maybe. This, I think what happens is this needs to come up a little further and curve back. There we go. There we go. Here's this. Sometimes you just have to make something lighter than, than it was. You see what happens. Try it and then see what happens. And and, um, and I think that that's kind of cool that you can do that. And then uh, take some of that yellow light right here. 
cad yellow light. Now I'm going to put the orange Let's, over uh, it. thank Anne Marie for her donation that came in through PayPal, and she also has a ticket in the fishbowl. Let me go get a frame now. Thank you very much, Anne Marie. Um, well, in spite of the fact that John and I did not get to see puffins in uh, Iceland, and and you know, um, we did get to see. What were those other birds we got to see? I don't remember. They were so anticlimactic after we didn't get the puffins, but <laughs> just just. What were the? Remember those birds we saw, and the lady got all nuts because some of the chairs were being mean oh, to them. Yeah, those were um, some kind of a seagull. Yeah, and they, they had, we were t doing their nesting grounds or something, right? Just take a little red here on some of these. And um, They've got a little V in their tail, and they're, they, they bomb you. Yeah, they're, they're, well, they were nesting. Yeah. And she told everybody to leave them alone, and of course Bef there was As one soon as we pulled in, before we, she even opened the door to out of the bus to let us out, don't go pestering the birds. This needs to come out a little further. So needless to say, we had one person sitting there pestering the birds. And yeah, he had to. He, he wasn't getting on the bus. He was sitting there fooling around with the birds. You know, I wanted to go slap him. I'm still mad about that. <laughs> just <laughs> If I see him, it's all over. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just absolutely yes, yes, and yes. So um, let's see. What did you do with the frame? I have it over here because I didn't want to interrupt you. Well, you wouldn't interrupt me, but I think I just want to do a little bit more of the white here. Um, oh, I forgot this. See, I knew it. If you just, where'd we do that? What's the black one? We had a black one. Oh. See, that's why I don't we had a black one. Y'all saw me, right? You saw me, right? I did. I saw you. I had a black one. I didn't drop it, did I? Oh, I did. That's all right. I know how to get it. Uh-huh. It's the one thing that fell down. As I say, I've got... Get those things. <laughs> you don't have to be old to want those. They're just handy, right? No no old bean here. You don't have to be old. I'm just going to come down here on his beak like this. And uh, I was watching a documentary about clouded leopard, leopards. We need to paint one someday. They are beautiful. I've never heard of a clouded leopard. I will have to look that up. Well, Ask Ginger to paint a snow leopard. Did we do a snow leopard? Oh, uh, we have some snow. Yeah, we did some. I don't know if we did a snow leopard. We did some. We did some leopards, but we don't. Here's the thing. We've gone back over our YouTube um, over the last years. Over who watches what on YouTube. And leopards are way down at the bottom of the list. <laughs> I don't know how to put it to you guys. Exist. But apparently nobody gives a rip about some of the stuff that we, we teach. And um, um, which is unfortunate because um, I think they should, but, you know, they don't. And what are you going to do? So um, we, we can't do anything about it except paint things that people want to see. And probably no one wants this. Um, and I broke all the rules and what is that? And decided to do this anyway for our puffin in honor of the one I didn't get, Did get to see. Yeah. <laughs> that only seemed fair. Yeah. Yeah, only seems fair. So we're just doing, don't make all these the same color. And if you can, if we can put a couple little snowdrops on a few. Like that, it's just something where that might have. There, look at that. How fun is that? All right, I'm ready for the frame. Okay. Absolutely ready for it. Absolutely. Have, don't you think so? Do, do, do I not ready? Does it not look ready? It looks good to me. No, you're still painting. I lied. <laughs> Thought I was up. ready. Pick him up. I'm picking him up, right, you guys? We have to put that underneath it so that, because he's a canvas board, you have to do it like that. Oh, look at that. Come on. So, uh, let's see. Let's just move, move that out of the way. Here. Here, let me get that for you, boss. How do we do with this, you guys? I think that's an award winner. Is that fun? I hope so. I hope you thought this was fun. And um, Besides flowers, what is the most demand for you to paint, Ginger? 
Oh, I don't know. Landscapes, OGGs. maybe. It's probably the landscapes and flowers yep. are probably... Flowers and, oh, and actually, old DGs. But the problem is I'm kind of running out of old DG simple ones now. We've got a lot of old DGs on our website. We have a whole 108 old DGs. Most of them are on our website yeah. uh, for our academy because they take, they're take a little harder to paint. It was hard to find simple ones to put on YouTube. But, you know, I try. And yeah. um, But I feel like we... we, 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 th we I think we, we have success. Don't you guys think so with the... Um, with, with the our puffin? bird? With our puffin? I, I think that is just perfect. He you is one so? semi-happy bird. And I want to make sure I've got the light under his eye right here like that. There. There, I got it. Got one of the eye to uh, have that. I wonder if I happened to put a little light in his eye. What would happen? Well, he'd have a light in his eye. Yeah, and now he's looking at us. <laughs> yeah, don't do it go. if you don't like it. A little beady eye. All right, a little beady eye so for a little beady bird. All right, you guys, this was fun. We're going to do another live show next week. But we yep. appreciate, I appreciate the comments and make. And, and um, maybe you had an experience with puffins. And you know, love to hear your puffin stories. And, uh, um, you know, John and I, we're going to see if we can't um, share some stuff with everybody. You, we, you know, if you've read our YouTube Gazette, we're going to invite you again. If you've got a, something you want to share about your, your painting experience, and we're, you know, we're looking for writers that maybe want to submit an article, not, not to say we'll publish it, but, um, you know, maybe it, you've, you want your voice to be heard. And you, maybe, you, maybe you were unhappy with some paint you bought and you just want to whine about it. Or maybe you had a wonderful experience with the, a tutorial we did and just a, a maybe that you found something else that you think art related that we all might be interested in and you know we want to make our cassette really fun and interesting we try to every week we want to thank uh, Liz Carson because she and John put they spend a whole day sometimes two days on the cassette so I would appreciate very much if you would comment on the articles that you read in the cassette actually take the time to comment on the articles your feedback is important too all right and if you haven't subscribed to the channel now's the time yes now yes. do it now do now. It now. now 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 all right and i'll see you next week thank you mods and thank everybody for the you know for helping us out with the scholarships and uh we appreciate it very much thanks everybody and we will see you next week same time same bat channel bye bye